Kevin in Georgia. Welcome to the show. Something about the bad things God does is irrelevant. Um, I don't know that God's done anything, Kevin. How do we know whether or not God's done something, and, and why would bad things be irrelevant? Uh, we don't know. What's up, guys? First of all, hey, Jenna, Matt, I'm glad Hello. you were there. Uh, <clears throat> but we um, we don't know. I'm just basing this off of uh, all week. You know, I've just been watching videos for the first time, watching the show, and I hear a lot of theists call and argue with you about slavery and, you know, them talk about the good things. And we can probably squash this particular point really fast, but what difference does any of the good or bad things that we claim God advocates for, does or doesn't do regarding his existence. Does any of it matter? Sure. So, first of okay, all... Can you tell me why? So, like first Kevin of all, God thinks it, <laughs> God's existence is an important issue because a bunch of people believe that a God exists. I don't. Jenna doesn't. Uh, we both used to. So, but when when people are talking about what God they believe in, if they say they believe in a good God and then they start telling me the characteristics of that God and I don't find them to be good, that's an important thing to discuss. If you're like, hey, I worship I worship the one true God and he is the wonderful governor of the universe. And one of his favorite things to do is to just uh, take people away from their family and stick them out in the <clears throat> woods and fillet them for fun. Um, I think that would matter because we're assessing the characters. It's like, I don't have to believe Voldemort is real to care whether or not Voldemort is the bad guy in the book. Mm -hmm. But if somebody yeah, tells me, say to that I respond. yeah, go ahead, Jenna. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm the same lines. It's just, I think that what, what you, are you trying to get at that whether or not he's good or bad doesn't prove whether or not he's real? Is that what kind of what you're trying to, is that what your point is? Yeah. I mean, overall, yeah, I just, I feel like I'm a theist. I believe in the Christian God, I would say, for the most part. And, you know, it's it's kind of laughable sometimes when people call into the show and they're sitting here trying to defend things that are obvious. You know, like, I'm not going to fight the things that are clearly in the Bible that I wouldn't personally do myself. <clears throat> so when we're talking about his character, um, how we feel about him and his laws and what he does. I think that's a completely different conversation to have as we're talking about, is he real or not? You know, oh, I agree. I, I no, no, I, I agree, Kevin, what, whether or not, okay. like I, I fully accept that a God might exist and he could be a complete moral monster. All I'm saying is that if somebody says God exists and he's good, and then they say, and here's what he does. And I say, that's not good. That is relevant. And so if you believe in a God, and one of the things is that God is good, and we can show that whatever it is you believe in isn't good, then we have debunked that God. There may still be a God who isn't good, but the notion of a good God is now defunct. Okay. I know that, that makes sense. And unlike a lot of conversations that, that I've seen, I'm not going to like run back and forth with you because I actually agree with what you just said. I, I love you, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought I thought, look, I, I disagree with, you know, your personal beliefs, but I'm not going to convince you of something that is clearly obvious. I'm not going to make up for the things that God it claims that God has done in the Bible. I don't understand them. I'm not going to try to make sense of them. So I just want to move on to something else. Is that okay? Well, can uh, I, before you move on? Yeah, go ahead. Do you sure. worship this God regardless of what it says about him in the Bible? I do. I'm not, yes, I do. So why do you believe, why do you worship him? I understand that you believe him, that he exists, but mm -hmm. what is your justification for actually worshiping him? Um, <clears throat> well, in my perspective, if somebody is supposed to exceed time, space, matter, and be the creator of everything, I don't, I, I'm not even going to try to pretend that I can make sense of what he would do. Of course, I wouldn't do it. Of course, if I saw someone, you know, here, right here, right here on now, I actually saw a comment on one of you guys' videos saying, we're always trying to make justification for God, but if anybody out here on the street did these things, we would tear them apart. And yeah, that's true, because that's somebody that's standing 
right in front of us, you know, that we can say, hey, you live in this world we live in, you're brought up the same way. It doesn't make sense. But for somebody that, that I believe is the beginning of it all, it's hard for me to try to justify his actions when it, I can't. So, so are you saying that you worship him simply because he's powerful? Not, that's not the only reason. I mean, I could get into the effects I feel like he's had on my life and how abundant my life is, but we could go on forever about that. So I'm does, just addressing so does when the it good, comes, what? Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm just curious. So then, does the good negate the bad? <laughs> I can answer that question, but I, I don't think my opinion matters to me. Well, if you're worshiping him, it, then you know, I think it does. Right. And I, I follow you, but when it comes to him, I don't think it matters what I think about him because what am, who am I, you know, to him? Like, okay, I can question what he's doing and why, and that doesn't make sense, but you know, I'm not the creator of everything. So supposedly, I sit down. supposedly you're someone he loves, aren't you? I believe that. Okay. So if God loves you, that. why won't he explain to you in a way that you can understand uh, his motivations mm -hmm. so that you don't sit here and have to, so that you can actually know that you're worshiping a God that is good rather than going, well, what I think about God doesn't matter because I think what you think about God does matter, especially if there's a God. Right. No, I, I follow that. And again, that makes perfect sense to me. It makes perfect sense to you. I just, I can't, I cannot try to, make what I think makes sense say, hey, this should make sense to him when theoretically saying if he is real, the, the guy we talk about in, in that Kevin. Christian Bible. Yeah. Has God ever talked to you? Uh, not like I'm talking to you right now. No, I don't believe that. Okay. In a different way? In some other way? Uh, through my life, I would say so. Yes. How could you prove that? I, I would never be able to prove that to you. So why do you believe it if you couldn't? No, I didn't say how could you prove it to me. I said how could you prove it? And any, to, how can how do you? So if I have a relationship with somebody, I can prove it, right? Why is it that God is the only relationship people are okay with not being able to prove? I would think the relationships you can prove are, you know, things that are in the right here and the right now you know if you say yes, yeah, things that are real unlike god well sure, you don't okay. have a you yeah, don't have a relationship I mean, with with your well, god right I mean, here and right I'm now saying, yeah yeah I, when i said that i meant you know something he can pull out of his closet or a person he can talk to and put on the phone and say hey me and this person have a relationship absolutely yeah. he can prove that so that's you more know, evidence we're, we're talking about why do i have more evidence sure. for a fake relationship with somebody than I do for a God? No one can answer that question. Then why? Nobody. So why, why are you willing to believe things for which you clearly don't have a good reason? Uh, that's just demonstration in my life. You know, that's what, but, but what is the, just, okay. I, what I, is I, the, I mean, Kevin, what is the demonstration? Give me the best example of a demonstration of something that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know, that God has done in your life. Okay, and I'm going to make this as, as quick and short as possible. When I say demonstrations in my life, I'm talking about whether it's good, bad things, doesn't matter, going on in my life and my walk. And when I say the Lord's Prayer and I do the best I can to walk in the way he asked me to, my life plays out in a way that I feel like if anybody were in my position, it would, it would get to a point where it's common sense. And that's the best answer I can give you. But if you guys yeah. have another question, I want to answer it. But there still was one more thing that I wanted to get to, and I didn't want to take up a bunch of time. But if you have a question, okay, I will okay, get get to it because I'm convinced we're not going to get any useful answer for, to you on any of the rest of that. Because one of the things that you said a little bit ago that I let slide and was going to get back to was you don't think that you can prove something to us that is obviously true. And I don't understand how you anybody can say X is obviously true, but I couldn't possibly demonstrate it to you. And since you know, don't care whether or not your beliefs are true and you don't think you can demonstrate something that you think is obviously true, go ahead and get on to whatever your other point was. Okay, I, I have something to say to that, but that's 
I'll, I'll, this is more important to me. I, as I was watching all these videos last week, I saw multiple, and I, I don't think Jenna was in them, but you were, Matt, and Scott, and many other people, saying that if Christianity were proven to be true, some people said they didn't know. Some people said no. And I think you said no on numerous occasions. You would not believe. Do you both do you still take that stance? I, so you wouldn't, I'm if, sorry, not believe, follow. It, yes. If the, if the Christian God, as described in the Bible, exists, I will believe that that God exists. I will not worship that God. I don't believe in worshiping anyone or anything. I don't think anything worthy of worship would ever demand or expect it. Okay. Thank you for that answer. Matt, I even heard you say you might even consider starting a revolution. Am I quoting you wrong? Of course I would, just like I would for any king that was corrupt and immoral. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you said. Maybe it's because everyone listening right now and watching this and to you two, anybody that thinks or believes he's fictitious for whatever reason, that is so easy to say because uh, are, there's it? no way. You know, you know what's even easier to say, Kevin? That there's a God, but you can't prove it to anybody. Like Just like saying, I got a girlfriend, but you wouldn't know her because she goes to another school. Please don't come in here and smugly suggest that those of us who are demanding and expecting evidence before we're willing to accept <clears throat> something are the ones that are incredulous when you are willing to believe something while admitting that you don't have a good reason. Don't you dare pretend that you have some intellectual high no, ground no, because you are advocating that's garbage. No, for it you is exactly for, what you did. Not what for I'm you doing. to say it's exactly for, for, what you did, but I'm going to let you, Jenna talk to you. As somebody who doesn't, who does believe in God, for you to represent our position and say that it is easy is kind of a dick move. You took me the wrong way. Let me clear this up really quick. So okay. it's our fault. Like, it's not your fault for misspeaking. It's our fault for taking you the wrong way. Sure, sure. You got to you got to learn some. You got to learn some shit, bad. Kevin. I okay, did love you, Kevin. It if it's my fault, look, look, okay. whatever. <laughs> if it's my fault, sure. Let me clear it up. What I'm getting at is not that it's easy to say. I'm saying, who is anybody, anybody, that if we're taking the story to be true? to say they would start a revolution over the most powerful fiction or nonfiction character ever. And who would follow that? Does that honorable, honorable people who justice? care more, honorable people who care more about what's right than what's might. Because they're doing that today, right? Because honorable people are standing up to powers that are more powerful than them. Yes. Yes, they are. And of some of them, and some of them in Afghanistan that. just lost. And I'm standing up to this notion in culture that it is a good thing to be religious because it's not. Yes, of course we have. Maybe maybe you might be the one. Maybe you'll be the one of them. I'm not just the one. Would... I'm not just the one. There are tons of us, Kevin. And what I'm sad about is that you are so entrapped in an idea that you can't demonstrate and you don't care about finding a pathway to truth, that you would rather just look at it and say it's absurd for me to say I would rather work for what is good and right and true than bow and bend the knee to evil monsters who want to enslave people. You are the one that's sacrificing your humanity on the altar of a fictional being that wants to enslave you. Matt, uh, Jenna, this is equivalent and everybody listening, if that would agree with you, because I'm not just going to single you out, Matt, anybody that would agree with you and stand behind you with that, that's equivalent to walking up to Mike Tyson and slapping him in the face. And I'd like to see how many people would do that. <laughs> I, I, I would like to see that. If <laughs> Mike Tyson were threatening me physically, what am I supposed to do? What is it that you think I should do, Kevin? Should I not stand up and object with every bit of power that I have? Has God threatened you physically, Matt? Uh, no, but his representatives have threatened me, and his representatives have threatened me on behalf with the hell, and you're doing it right now. You are suggesting that it is absurd to stand up against corruption that is too powerful. I'm sorry that you're weak. Nope, I'm not saying it's absurd. I'm saying you were. anybody 
that I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm saying anybody that would not answer that question with, I don't know, is either crazy. Kevin, I did answer that question with, I don't know. We took a hypothetical in order to have this conversation. I said that I might, and you, you actually said this, if you rewind the call, I might even try to start a revolution. I don't know exactly what I would do in that circumstance. And I'm unlikely to ever find out because your God is fucking fictional. Right, so now you're making a, a claim. Yes, and your God is fucking fictional. Okay, all right, guys, look, I'm, I'm not, you know, going to badger you like crazy. I just wanted to leave off by saying that, just to make sure I'm not understood, because I, I care about that more than anything, make sure I, you understand my position. I'm not... Wait, so, wait, 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 before you say, get your, your, your closing statement, I'm curious if you yeah. actually care if this God exists. Absolutely. Because it doesn't Absolutely. sound like it. Because you're getting you're getting told reasons why it's unbelievable to us. And all that you can do is come up with reasons why we're crazy. No, 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 no. It doesn't okay. sound like you're actually considering well, anything. Consider, are you saying that I would not consider evidence if God were not real? That I wouldn't care? Is that what you're saying? No, I that's called shifting the burden of proof. We've asked you for evidence to demonstrate that you're correct, and you have none, and you don't seem interested in providing any, and you don't seem bothered by the fact that you can't. Because unlike every other theist that calls, I'm realistic, and I understand they're there. No, here no, yet you're not. You're not. What you've done is rationalize away any evidential responsibility. You don't care whether or not your belief is true. If you did, you would be able to demonstrate a mechanism by which you can tell whether or not it's true. My life is my mechanism. It doesn't have to be yours. It's That's, mine. It's not so your I life. Care. God yeah. exists. God, the God that you believe in exists independent of your life, correct? <clears throat> yep. Okay, so then don't bring up your life as if it's the mechanism. There's, there's got to be some mechanism by which you can determine whether or not that God exists. And if you, if you can't demonstrate to anybody, then you're admitting that you are gullible and that you believe things for bad reasons. Even if, even if I agree with that, because I would never say, you know, my particular walk in life would be a bad reason. But even if I did agree with that, let's just say I did agree with that. Okay. How are you sitting here trying to defend the position, trying to say that I'm, I'm being smug or trying to humiliate you guys when what I'm laying out is not a bully in the schoolyard, not a, a, you know something that we watch on TV. We're taking the hypothetical of God being real. And I'm sitting here thinking, Matt, if I'm a friend of yours and you say, hey, let's go fuck with the dude that has caused mass plagues, slavery, created everything. Let's go kick his ass. Who, how is that even a response? Okay, well, first no. of all, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. First of all, I didn't suggest seriously in this conversation or in any other that if a God existed, I would have any chance against him. As a matter of fact, I'm on record probably a couple hundred times of saying that if God exists, I couldn't do a thing about it. He can squash me like a bug whenever he wants. But that doesn't mean that I would worship. It doesn't mean that I would follow. And if there was some way to resist and revolt, I would do that. I'm sorry that you're a coward. I'm not. And uh, in your little in your little I'm, playground I'm scenario, that what's actually happening here is you're calling to say that the the boss of this school is this magical being who has powers and can see everybody's thoughts and cares who everybody's having sex with. When I'm saying I actually have a principal and a vice principal and I have teachers and I have all these people that I have evidence for that have created rules for this school. And you're saying I have better rules because of my super being that's, that's here that nobody has evidence for except for you just think it's obvious because, because it, I mean, you have no reason to say that it's obvious because you haven't proven it to be obvious. You guys keep coming. Look, you keep coming back to me demonstrating proof of him being real. That was a hypothetical when I said if we're if he were proven to be true, like Matt said, we already know we're having a hypothetical conversation. So I'm we're not we're not coming back to 
oh, and then I've got to prove he exists. No, we're okay, saying Kevin, hey, right now. Okay, exists. Kevin, Kevin, just stop then because I'm bored. Because if now what you're going to say is, oh, we're just talking about a hypothetical if God exists. And so there's no problem with Kevin saying that my response in a hypothetical is ridiculous. Let's throw out the hypothetical. Your response to reality is ridiculous, Kevin, because you believe that there's a God. You don't believe that it's a hypothetical and you have no way of demonstrating it. And that doesn't bother you. Let's get back to reality. Do you have any way to show that your God exists? No. Then the hypothetical is useless, isn't it? It's a big distraction no, to keep you from having to. No, 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 because they, we we know nothing about this God. You don't know whether or not this God is all powerful or not. You don't know what this God can do. You don't know if this God can squash me like a bug. You don't know any of that because just you can't bad. demonstrate any of it. You don't and know so, if this God is actually bad. Satan. Assuming. If we you want to start a hypothetical, assuming... Kevin, if you want to start a hypothetical with there exists a being that can squash you like a bug, what will you do? Then my answer will always be, I guess I'll get squashed like a bug. Are you happy now? Because you've done nothing but demonstrate that in your fictional scenario, you I don't think I would respond the way you don't think I would respond. And yet you've not gotten one smidgen closer to demonstrating the truth of the proposition that you actually believe is true, the one that you smugly think that you are superior for believing. You see what I mean? You keep saying that, smugly think I'm superior. When did I once say I was more superior than you guys? When like, you said it was easy that? for us to say what we might do in a hypothetical about this God, um, when you suggested that you have an evidentiary standard that you cannot relate to other people, and yet it is somehow superior to that of other people. That's the problem. I was equating that. I was equating that with saying it's easy, just like I could say it's easy. I could kick the heavyweight champion of the world's ass. Not anything special. Yeah, it's easy for me to say that. But you put the guy in front of me. I'd like to see what would happen. I won't be Who's scared until behind? you can actually present your God. Why should I be scared of a fictional boogeyman? Nobody. Nobody's telling you to be scared. I'm I, saying anyone. Kevin, this is a monumental waste of my time now, and my zen is almost gone. Goodbye. Please, Matt, keep your zen. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm keeping mine. it as best I can. Because that conversation turned into, Matt, if God were real, I don't think you'd be as brave as you think you would be. Well, congratulations. I don't give a fuck what you think about how I would or wouldn't act. You're probably right. I might cower. You may not even need to provide a God. I might cower from Mike Tyson. Mike's a badass. Mike could probably kill me with a punch. You're right. I might cower. And it's telling that you decided to use Mike Tyson potentially punching me as a, as an, a surrogate for your God. Because, um, yes, if we're going to talk about violent people who have assaulted people and raped people, good job picking Mike Tyson. Right. Again, believing it, believing that it's real because he's powerful. Uh, might doesn't make right. <laughs>